Thank you for this great opportunity to present our recent work today. Before I begin, I just need to explain a minor discrepancy in the data. In the title of the abstract submitted to this conference, the title says 424 patients, but after data cleansing, the number of cases proved to be 426 patients. <clears throat> Our disclosures are shown here. As you know, endoscopic stenting with a self-expandable metallic stent, or SAMS, is a widely accepted procedure for managing malignant collector obstruction, or MCO. In Japan, SAMS placement for MCO was performed only in clinical trials in a limited number of hospitals up until January 2012, when it became covered by national health insurance. <clears throat> In light of this situation, the Japan Colonic Stent Safe Procedure Research Group, or JCSSPRZ, was started. And the group conducted two multi-center prospective studies. The present study analyzed data from these two studies to investigate the safety and efficacy of SEMS placement for MCO as a bridge through surgery, or BDS. The initial study, the Wolflex study, studied in May 2012 and ended in October 2013. The stent used was the Wolflex and covered enterocolonic stent. <clears throat> the second study, the NITS study, studied in October 2013 and ended in May 2014. The stent used was the D-type NITS enterocolonic and covered stent. Straightening force is lower than with other SAMs. <clears throat> the two studies were conducted one after the other in the same setting, using a different stent in each study. 53 facilities participated. From both studies, seven 123 patients were enrolled, nine patients excluded, 426 received SEMS placement for MCO as a bridge to surgery. This table shows the colorectal obstruction scoring system, or CROSS, which we use for evaluating the obstructive symptoms. Before the study started, the JCSSPRZ website was launched. Many guidelines for safe placement of colonic stents were posted. Also, differences between the placement procedures for the Wolfex and ITS stents were explained with an accompanying video lecture. Results. The patient's characteristics were as follows. <clears throat> Of 426 priests to surgery patients, mean age was 69 years and 56% were male. The 32 patients who were evaluated as cross 4 could ingest soft solids or a full diet without symptoms of stricture. The two more characteristics were as follows. The technical success rate was 98.1%. Technical failure occurred in eight patients, mainly due to inability to pass the guide wire and perforation by the guide wire in three cases each. The clinical success rate after technical success was 93.8%. In addition to the eight technical failures, 26 adverse events occurred. As for adverse events of stent placement, these occurred in 36 patients in total. A perforation occurred in eight patients. Total perforation rate was 1.9%. All of the perforations occurred in the Wolflex study. The overall complication rate was 8.5%, including migration, sepsis, abdominal pain, fever, and acute appendicitis. For a bridge to surgery patient, the results were emergency surgery in 12 patients, primary osmosis in 382 patients, 
including an osmosis with diverting stoma in nine patients. Hotman's resection was performed in 24 patients. Palliative colostomy only was performed in nine patients. And three patients underwent emergency surgery with diverting stoma after an osmotic leakage. Thus, the overall stoma free rate was 89.4%. <clears throat> The overall post-operative morbidity rate was 16.9%. An osmotic leakage of any grade occurred in 15 patients, or 3.8%. The overall 30-day mortality rate was zero, but the hospital post-operative mortality rate was 0.5%. These two patients died from complication due to cancer progression. Median duration of hospitalization after surgery was 14 days. So overall, there was a low complication rate of sense placement for MCO as a bridge to surgery. Especially in the later NITS study, the perforation rate was 0% and the clinical success rate was 98.2%. Sharing a standard procedure through workshops and the, our website might have helped to shorten the learning curve. Also, the lower straining, straightening force with the NITS may have worked advantageously to avoid perforation. The JCS PRZ plans to start an RCT, the COBRA trial, with cross one or two patients to compare one group that will undergo early surgery after fasting, and another group that will undergo elective surgery after clonic stenting. There are some reports of a poor oncological prognosis in a patient group that underwent stenting and experienced perforation. However, long-term prognosis did not differ between those patients in which the stent could be placed without perforation and those who underwent emergency surgery. So, if we can achieve a low perforation rate similar to that I reported here, we may be able to demonstrate that stent do not adversely impact the oncological prognosis. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Question from the mic. Weissmuller, the Netherlands. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Um, uh, there are some studies who show uh, micro perforations as well, uh, besides the clinical apparent uh, perforations. So you, in the first group you have a perforation percentage of 8% and you might also have micro perforations. Micro Do you worry about that? Uh, we call it uh, silent perforation, not, not, no symptom perforation, right? Yeah, yeah, micro perforations. There are studies who show this and from an oncological point of view this could be worrisome. but. So this is not we, we, a perforation have, that is clinically apparent? We have apparent. silent perforation in four patients. It, it's not include the, uh, the this, uh, no, uh, plus, plus four, plus four silent, we have plus four silent perforation. Okay, besides the clinical apparent? Yes, yes. Four besides. percent? Besides 1.9 percent. Okay, thanks. It's maybe a little bit difficult question, but. Uh, because, but you can also, it can be that, that it can also become apparent because of abscesses, etc. cetera. Uh, th this can also be associated with microperforations. but okay, thank you for your question. So do you have your long-term cancer follow-up from these two studies yet? Because yep. there, there is very worrisome oncologic data, which you mentioned, mm -hmm. that the local recurrence rate is double in the patients that go stent then bridge to surgery versus the patients who go right to surgery. So much so that the European guidelines yeah, say yeah, not to do stent yeah. as a bridge to surgery unless you are over 70 and or have poor comorbidities. Yeah, I know, but this, it's uh, only studies with high perforation rate, I, we think. Okay. So, we, we need our CDs. 